Uh, so the early morning hours, uh, a call from you to Conrad Murray that lasted 14 seconds. Do you see that? Yes, sir. Okay. And that's followed by a 1246 a.m. phone call from Conrad Murray back to you that lasted approximately a minute and 20 seconds? Yes, sir. Okay. Was that the phone calls uh, following rehearsal in which you called Conrad Murray to make sure that he was at least on his way or going to the home? I don't remember the calls, but I'm pretty sure that's what they are. Okay. Then going down uh, now to midday of June 25th, 2009, phone call reflected as 12.13 p.m. from Conrad Murray to you, indicating zero seconds. Uh, would that be consistent with the voicemail message uh, that we just played for the jury that's reflected in your phone record? Yes, sir. And following that, at 12.15 p.m., you then called Conrad Murray, and it lasted for 35 seconds? Yes, sir. Okay. And would that be the phone call you referenced where Dr. Murray told you Michael had had a bad reaction and to get someone there? Yes, sir. Or to have security come up? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now, the following that conversation with Conrad Murray at 12.15, uh, there's a series of phone calls uh, and you've reviewed this summary and compared it to your phone records? Yes, sir. Okay. This 1216 phone call then, immediately following the phone call of Conrad Murray, it indicates you called Fahim Muhammad, and it lasted approximately 28 seconds. Uh, do you recall that phone call? Yes, sir. And can, uh, so after you got off the phone with Conrad Murray, did you, uh, in fact, call Fahim Muhammad? Yes, sir. Okay, and can you tell me, uh, were you able to get a hold of Mr. Muhammad? I was. After I hung up with Dr. Murray, I called Fahim. Uh, he answered. Uh, I asked him where, where, where was he, and he said he just left the property to go run an errand, I believe, to the bank. Okay. And I said, hurry, turn around, and go back. And he said, why? And I told him, I don't know what's going on, but I got a call from Dr. Murray, and something's going on. I had no idea to the extreme what it was going on, but I told him to hurry and get back. Okay. And then I hung up, I believe. Okay. Uh, it then reflects uh, a 1217 phone call to Alberto Alvarez uh, for zero seconds, a 1218 phone call from Alberto Alvarez for zero seconds, and another 1218 phone call from Alberto Alvarez uh, for zero seconds. Uh, to your knowledge, were those all uncompleted calls in which you or Alberto were trying to get a hold of one another? Yeah, I don't remember those calls, so it must have been us going back and forth. Okay. Uh, but you've seen, you have seen those calls reflected in your phone records? Yes, sir. Okay. Following that, there's a 12, again, a 1218 um, phone call from you to a Derek Cleveland with an area code of 602 that lasts two seconds. Uh, do you recall that phone call? No, I do not. Okay. Who's Derek Cleveland? Derek Cleveland is security at the house. Okay. Um, my first, of course, I will call Fahim or uh, Fahim Mohammed or Alberto Alvarez. Cause why, do, why do you say, of course, you would call them well, first? Mr. Jackson was more familiar with them and they went out with him during the daytime so it's someone who would help me in the house if they needed help but someone i would go to first because okay. they were familiar with mr jackson uh okay. derek was house security so okay so at this point you've called fahim he's not at the house uh you're trying to get a hold of alberto but the, the calls are not being connected just yet so then you called derek cleveland sorry right. okay uh were you able to get a hold of derek cleveland if you remember no, not to my knowledge okay Following that, then, at 12.18, uh, Alberto Alvarez uh, again tries to reach you uh, and makes contact lasting a minute, 21 seconds. Do you recall that? Yes, sir. Okay, and you recall speaking to Alberto Alvarez? Yes, sir, I do. Okay. Now, when you first spoke to Alberto Alvarez, what did you say? What's the first thing you said? Where are you? Okay. To my knowledge, I believe I said, where are you? Okay, and what did he say? The security trailer. And what did you tell him at that time? I told him, I don't know what's going on, but you have to get to go inside the house. And from what I believe, he immediately started getting up, but we was going back and forth, like, what's going on? I said, I don't know. Dr. Murray said, Mr. Jackson had a bad reaction. Let's just go see. And I remember him walking, and I said, are you there yet? And he said, no. I said, well, run, kind of hurry. Okay. Um, then I remember him saying, I'm at the front door, uh, 
looking in. I'm going to stop you there for Okay, yes, sir. So the, the front door then. That is what is reflected in frequency mark people said. Yes, sir. Okay. And from the photograph, these are large uh, glass doors that you can see through. Yes, sir. Okay. And so at some point then, Alberto says he's at the front door. Yes, sir. Okay. And what was being said at that point? I don't remember if he said it was locked or not, but something to the effect of the nanny opening the door for him. Okay. Um, and then before he went in, he said, do I have permission to go in? I said, yes, go in. And he said, do I have permission to go upstairs? And I said, yes, go upstairs. Okay. Um, and as he's walking or running up the stairs, I hear uh, Dr. Murray's voice. <laughs> Can't make out what's, what's being said, but it sounded like it was something going on at the house. Okay, but you recognize Dr. Murray's voice in the background while sure. Alberto Alvarez was still on the phone? Correct. Okay. And at that point, did Alberto hang up the phone? Alberto hung up on me. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, what are you doing as you're still in downtown LA? What are you doing at this time? Oh, I'm, I remember uh, feeling hope, feeling bad. I don't, I don't know what's going on. I remember being scared. Uh, so I was just calling. I remember making a lot of phone calls. Like, what's going on? Uh, He's nasal.